In this video, we are going to go over the equilibrium theory of island biogeography. Island biogeography refers to the study focusing on factors that affect species richness in naturally isolated communities. These communities include typical isolated oceanic islands, often formed by volcanic activity. It also includes continental islands, which are formed, for instance, due to rising water levels. In oceanic islands, especially those newly formed through volcanic eruptions, the species composition will increase through the process of succession until reaching a similar level of diversity as the closest mainland. Continental islands already have a stable species composition before becoming isolated. Now isolated, they will tend to decrease in the number of species present depending on the level of isolation. The equilibrium theory of island biogeography refers to when these islands have reached a stable number of species. It relates to the idea that the number of species found on an island over time is a balance between immigration of species to the island and extension of species reaching an equilibrium. The level of this equilibrium is different on different islands. There are two major factors that affect these differences. The first is the level of isolation. The second is the size of the island. Those islands that are more isolated are further from the source of species. This source is often the mainland, but can also be another larger island close by. These more isolated islands have a lower equilibrium number due to a lower immigration rate. Those that are closer and less isolated have easier immigration and the equilibrium number is going to be higher. Extinction is also higher on more isolated islands compared to less isolated islands. This is due to the less isolated islands being closer to the source of the species, which means species that are about to go extinct are more likely to be saved by repeated immigration to the island. Island size is the second factor that affects the equilibrium level. Extinction is higher on smaller islands compared to larger islands. Because of this, the equilibrium number of species is going to be smaller on small islands and larger on large islands. This occurs because there is more chance for diverse habitats in larger islands, and habitat areas are larger on larger islands. Because of this, the chance of extinction through chance events is reduced. Immigration rates are also smaller on smaller islands due to the reduced rate of random dispersion to a smaller island. In summary, the number of species on near large islands are going to be higher than that on distant small islands. Over time on all islands, the counteracting forces of immigration and extinction creates an equilibrium in the number of species on an island. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button.